Okay. Praise God, everybody. This uh, this is our starting point today. Jesus Christ is Lord, the glory of God, the Father in heaven. We are going out now to reach the whole nation. Let the people know that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's a very, very important message. And the people should know that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that Jesus Christ saves us. Saves us and delivers us from every part of that. That's our message. Jesus Christ saved. Jesus saved. Jesus saved. Jesus saved. We are going for the salvation of souls. And I know that the name of God is highly lifted up in Jesus' name. Amen. We move on now. Our God is a good God. We've got one message. And that message is Jesus Christ saves. That is our message. That message is Jesus Christ saves us. Jesus Christ saves. That's our message. Just as we have it today in our van, that Jesus Christ saves. That is our message. This is our message. Jesus Christ saves. Jesus saves. That's our message. God bless everybody. In the name of Jesus. So we are going now to the world. The Bible says, go ye and make discipleship to all the nations. We are going ye. The Bible says, go ye and make disciples to all the nations. That's exactly what we are doing now. Going to make discipleship to all the nations. What of God says, preach the good news. Preach the good news. And that is what we are going to do today, to preach the good news. Jesus love you, brother. Jesus care for you. Our God is an awesome God, everybody. Jesus Christ loves us so much with an everlasting love. He cares for us. And He is a good God. He is a faithful God. He is a just God. Jesus Christ lives and reigns forever and ever and ever. Today is the day of salvation. Today is acceptable day. Jesus Christ lives and reigns. And he is God forever and ever. There is no one like unto God. He is alive. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns. His name is highly lifted up. The Bible says that in the name of Jesus Christ, every knee bows and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus loves us so much and Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns and he's a great God. He's a God of God, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, he's the beginning and the end. There is no one like unto him. Jesus love you, brother. Our God is God. Jesus Christ lives and reigns. He's a great God. He's a faithful God. He's a just God. He's a God that never changes. He's an unfailing God. And he is God. Let me tell you, the Bible says that Jesus Christ has gone to the Father to bring the kingdom, to get the kingdom. He's going to get a kingdom. The word of God says that, that there comes. <laughs> Jesus love you, brother. Jesus care for you. Can I about the King James Bible? Yes. Does your, does your um does, does God repent? The King James Bible, yes. Does God repent? How can God repent? Does your God repent? That my God, does yes. my God repent? Does he repent? Yes. He does repent. Yes. How, how what is he repent for? Repent as he made you because you no, no, are no, no, sinful. No, no, I tell you why he repents. Yeah. I'll show you. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? You see in the King James, yeah? Yeah, what do you see? What do you see? Yes. You don't? So, where are you reading now? Hold on. So, you're, you're going to trace evil, isn't it? He says? You're going to trace evil as well, isn't it? You mean your God or our God? No, your God. So, it's not your God? Huh? Is he not your God? No, I'm asking my brother. No, is he your God or not your God? How is he my God? So it's not your God, yeah? No, no. So, so what I say, 
Say, I form the light and I create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. Oh. I, the Lord, do all these things. So he yes, creates of evil. So he, he made everything. So he creates evil. He then. made everything. I'm asking you a question. So he creates evil. What I'm telling you, everything. God he makes made, evil. Both good and bad. I'm asking you a question. God makes evil then, yeah? I answer your question. I say, both good and bad, God made it. And God is in charge of it. Yeah. And then, have, have you repented? So which one is that? Let me help you. The word of God and, says. And so what does your God do then? The word of, listen, let me let me help you. The word of God no. says, can I help you, sir? Go can I help you? The word of God says, I have called heaven and earth to witness mm -hmm. against you today that I have set before you life and death, mm -hmm. blessing and curse. And it says, choose one. So whichever one you choose, because God don't want to keep us and control us as people. God's life. Does your God send a lying spirit? No. God does your God send a lying spirit? Let me tell you. Yes, he does. He sends a lying spirit. Let, let me, this is I, in your Bible. Can I, can Brother, I, can this I is teach in your book. you? This is can in your I, book. Can I teach your God you? sends a lying spirit. Can I teach you? Your God sends a lying spirit. Are you here to argue? Are you here uh, to learn? Show me your, book, your books, please. Listen, are you here to argue? Are you here to learn? I'm here to show. I'm here to okay. show. Okay. Your God okay. sends a lying spirit. Look, I have to show. I have to show. I'm not, I'm not here for a show. I'm here for reality. Our God is a very faithful God. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father in heaven. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of salvation. You can see there's devil, devil incarnation. The devil people, the evil people walking around seeking him to devour. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ believed and reigned forever and ever and ever. Today is that wonderful day, brother. Our God is great. Our God is faithful and our God is just. We just met one and we're gonna meet others. Jesus Christ is Lord. He made all things. He created all things. He's in charge of every one of us. Our God is good. He knows all things. Whether it is good or bad, God knows it. And I tell you that God can work out good from bad. God can always work out good from bad. That is our God. Devil is their God made them. So devil is evil, God made them. Not to be evil, but he decided to be evil. So God made him. God's not going to destroy him until the set day. Until the appointed day, God bless you, mommy. God bless you. Until the appointed day, then the devil will be dealt with. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God is a good God. God created man and woman. And God created also every single thing on earth, good and bad. God created them. God made everything. And then he gave us peace. He gave us joy. Jesus love you all. Are you waiting to hear the gospel? Jesus care for you, my good friends. Thank you, bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. I love it. I love that. Our God is a good God. He made everything. He's the God of all nations. He loves us so much. He care for us. Today is that good day. Today is the faithful and the just day. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's the king of kings, he's the king of glory. He's the Alpha and the Omega, he's the beginning and the end. There is none like unto him. No one to be compared with him. No one to be compared with God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord God. Great is the loving kindness of our Lord God. Our God is wonderful. Today is a good day, everybody. Jesus Christ care for you. Jesus Christ died for a sinful world. Jesus love you so much, brother. Jesus care for you. Our God is a great God. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. That is known like unto God. Jesus love you, sister. Our God lives and reigns. His name is highly lifted up. And the word of God says, at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee bows, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, brother. Amen. Every knee must bow. Amen, sister. God bless you.
Amen. Amen. Every kneel must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns. Jesus loves you, sister. You have some. God bless you. Jesus cares. Our Lord is good. God is a faithful God. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Amen. Our God is a great God. His name is faithful. His name is just. His name is kind. He's a great God. The God of all God. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is wonderful. There is no one like unto God. He made us. He created us. He cares. Jesus Christ loves us. Our God good. Our God is good God. And today is that day. The word of God said, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed unto us, that we should be called the sons and daughters of God. And the word of God says, It does not yet appear what we should be. But what we know is that when he appeared, we're going to be like him. We're going to be like our Savior Jesus Christ. We're going to be like him. We're going to be like our Jesus. Every single day, we'll be like Jesus Christ in the presence of God the Father. Our God is a great God. That is no one like unto God. Hello, young one. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Our God lives and reigns. He is great. And he is faithful God. He made everything. He created us. He is wonderful. He is glorious and gracious. He is the King of glory. There is no one like him. Jesus, the Son of God, he has delivered us. There is no one like him. He is a very good God. Jesus loves you, my friend. Jesus cares for you. Our God is good. Jesus Christ is Lord. Right, want to hear about Jesus, the Son of God? Jesus Christ loves us so much. He's everlasting Father. He's the King of Kings. He's the King of Glory. He's the Alpha and the Omega. There is none to be compared with our God. Our God lives and reigns. Jesus Christ is his name. His name is highly lifted up. His name is God. Our God is God. Christ is King. Jesus Christ lives and reigns forever and ever. The word of God says, because of the love you have for us, he came. Jesus Christ came to die for us because of love. It's only love. It's the love that lifted him. It is the love that brings him down. It is the love that takes him to the cross. God bless you, sir. It is the love that takes Jesus Christ to the cross. It is the love of God that takes Jesus Christ to the cross. And it is the love of God that made him to die for us, suffer for us. It is the love that brings him down from heaven. Because he loves us so much and he do not want us. He do not want us to perish. God never wants us to perish, never wish that anyone should perish. But God wants us to have eternal life. God bless you. Our God is a very faithful God. He never wish that any one of us should perish. But he wants every one of us to have eternal life, brother. Jesus loves you. Jesus cares. Our God is faithful. That is not like unto God. He is great. And he is faithful. Jesus loves you, young people. Jesus cares for you. Thank you very much. There is none like you. You are wonderful. You are excellent, God. There is no one to be compared with God. The word of God says to us, come unto me. All you that are thirsty, when you are thirsty, come to the Lord. He give you to drink freely. That's true. He give you to drink freely, young people. Jesus Christ give you to drink freely. Give you to, give you to eat freely without payment. Jesus love you. Jesus care for every one of us. 
He gave you to eat, gave you to drink, freely without payment. He doesn't charge you any money. He gave you to eat when you are thirsty. He gave you to drink because he loves you so much. Amen. Blessed are those that test after righteousness. Yes, for theirs is the kingdom of God, bro. That's it. Righteousness brings us close to God. The Bible says sin is a reproach. Sin is a reproach. Amen. Sin is a reproach to every nation. So when you are committing sin, you are not good for the nation. You are not good for the country. When you are a sinner, you are not good for this country because you keep committing crime. Sin makes you to commit crimes. Sin makes you to fight. Sin makes you to war, kill, and it's not good for the country. Sin makes you to shed blood. Sin makes you to hate your neighbor. So it's not good for the country. So when you are committing sin, sin destroys the country. The Bible says, but righteousness exalts a nation. When you live a righteous life, when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you exalt the nation. The nation is exalted. The Great Britain is exalted. The whole world is exalted. If you repent from your sins. But sin is a reproach. Sin is evil. It's a reproach to every nation. God bless you. You are healed in Jesus' name. You are set free in Jesus' name. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful and just. Sin is a reproach. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you. Give me a call. We'll talk. God bless you, mom. Our God is great. Our God is faithful and just. Jesus Christ is Lord. Sin is a reproach to every nation. But righteousness exalts every nation. Sin brings the nation down. The sin of adultery, fornication, the sin of pornography, the sin of lying, the sin of fighting, bring every nation down. The sin of weed, taking weed, smoking weed, bring every nation down. Bring every nation down. But the Bible says that righteousness exalts every nation. The righteousness of God exalts every nation. But sin is a reproach. Why is sin a reproach? Because sin brings down the nation. Sin brings shame to this country, to every country. Sin brings shame. Sin brings unforgiveness. Sin brings fighting. Sin brings murder. Sin brings evil in the hearts. Sin brings every kind of form of wickedness. That's what sin brings. But righteousness exalts every nation. Okay? So when you repent from your sins, you're not only doing yourself a favor, but you are doing the country you are in a favor. Like I'm seeing you now, you are in Great Britain. When you repent from your sins, you are doing this country a favor. Our God is a very good God. Our God is faithful. Therefore, you must give your life and you must repent from your sins. One for your own good because of internal life. Jesus Christ has promised us internal life. And this internal life is in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's the only way, the only way, the truth and the life. Jesus Christ created devil, never created devil to be evil, but devil disobeyed God and become evil. Jesus Christ created good and bad, never want man to be wicked, but man's heart found to be wicked. And God was not happy that he created man. And God said, I wasn't, I'm not happy that I made man. Now the man I made in my own image and likeness, they have gone astray. Their heart is continually evil. And that is why God is not happy that he made man. And that's why God says, God repent that he made man. Because man's heart become hardened, is hardened. Very, very hard. In. Disobeying God. Disobedient. Disobedient. Disobedient is 
Jesus is Lord, brother. You're gonna, you're gonna, one day you're going to see Jesus in heaven, and then you will know that he is Lord. Jesus is Lord, everybody. So God made man to be good. God made man to be like him. But man chooses to go devil's way. Man chooses a choice. God has given us a choice. He gave us a choice to choose good or bad. The Bible says, I have called heaven and earth to witness against you these days. That you, you choose. You must choose good or bad. The Bible says, if you choose good, you become a good treasure even to your nation. If you choose bad, then you become a very, very bad egg even to the people. Today is an acceptable day. It is the day of salvation, everybody. And our God lives and reigns forever and ever and ever. Sin is a very, very big reproach. Jesus Christ gave life, but devil brings death. Sin is equal to death. Our God is a great God. Today is the day of salvation. That is why we bring the gospel, we bring the gospel to the street to speak to you, to talk to you, to make you realize that Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ wants you. Jesus Christ loves you so much and He cares for you. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is great. He's awesome God. What an awesome God. He gave us every opportunity to give our life, to repent from our sins. He's an awesome God. He's a great God. He's a faithful and a just God. There is none like Him. He is great. He is kind. God is kind. Our God is great. God bless you. I'm blessed, brother. Where is Haji Salama? Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns. This is the day of salvation, everybody. Jesus Christ has given us this day. Say, this is the day of salvation. This is the day the Lord has made, given to us. The Bible says that God wants us to rejoice and be glad in it. You can rejoice when you choose to rejoice. You didn't know that happiness is a choice. Happiness is a choice. If you want to rejoice, it's a choice. If you want to be sad, no matter whatever, you still going to be sad. But if you want to be happy, you're going to be happy. Because happiness is a very big choice. A very big choice to make. What do you choose? Life or death? Blessing or curse? Which one do you choose? It's a very, very big choice. If you want to be happy today, you're going to be happy. But if you want to be sad, you're going to always be sad, no matter whatever. Because you are in control of your heart. The heart of a man is given to a man to control. So you are in control of your heart. And your heart is given to you to control. So it is your choice. If you want to be good, you're going to be good. If you want to be bad, you're going to be bad. It is a choice. Jesus Christ died for us. It is a choice for us to receive him. It is a choice for us to reject him. Jesus Christ is Lord. It is a choice. If you want to accept it, it is your choice. If you want to reject it, it is your choice. And the truth is, if you accept it, that Jesus Christ is Lord, there is a benefit. There is a benefit in it. When you accept that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will end the benefit. Joy, peace, love, goodness, kindness everything all around you. Good health. Once you accept that Jesus Christ is Lord, everything, everything comes together for you. More especially the kingdom of God. Amen, brother. More especially the kingdom of God, which God has promised to us. When you accept that Jesus Christ is Lord, brother, you have the kingdom. Jesus will give you the kingdom. God bless you, sir. You have the kingdom when you accept that Jesus Christ is Lord. 
You have the kingdom of God with you. You have the joy of the salvation. You have the joy of the Lord. The word of God said that the joy of the Lord is your strength. And this joy of the Lord comes to you if you accept that Jesus Christ is Lord. If you believe in his name, if you trust him, Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God is great. Our God is faithful. God exists. God is a great God. If a man looking at you and me, you know who is deluded. <laughs> Our God is a good God. That is so unlike God to God. The heaven and earth testify of the goodness of God. The heaven shows the good hand work of God. Our God is good God. Now the Bible says that the fool has said in his heart, that is so God. And they are corrupt. They are sinful. How can a person that God has made and said in his heart, that is so God? That's why many people today they reject their parents. Of course. There are many fellows today. They don't want to know about their parents. They run away from their parents. They don't want to deal with their parents. They hate their parents. Many people today hate their parents as they hate God. Whenever you see someone hating God, that person hates his parents. Our God is a good God. By their fruits you shall know them. Amen. Whenever you see someone saying that he hates God or that he no God, he don't love his parents. He don't love his parents. If you love your parents, you love God. Our God is a good God. So by their fruits we shall know them. The fruits, the fruits will be we testify whether you love your parents or whether you hate your parents. God is a very good God. God is a wonderful God. And we can understand that today, if you hate your parents, that is consequences. That is consequences to those that hate their parents. And in the same way, if you hate God, God bless you, brother. If you hate God, that is consequences for those that hate God. The consequences is death. The consequences is trouble. The consequences is sickness. The, co the consequences is hell. Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you. Our God is faithful. Jesus Christ is Lord. So today, God came to save you, to show you love. To show you love. To show you that He loves you so much. He cares for you. And he died to set you free. Our God is an awesome God. And Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is the Lord of Lord. He is the King of Kings. Our God is a good God. Today is that wonderful day. Today is a beautiful day. Today is a great day. Jesus Christ loves us so much. And he cares for us. God bless you, brother. Our God lives and reigns, everybody. It's a good day. It's a faithful and a just day. We are on the streets of Walthamstow, and we want to tell you the truth. And the truth is that Jesus Christ loves you. And the truth is that Jesus Christ is Lord. And the truth is that Jesus Christ comes to set you free. And the truth is that when you believe in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you will be set free. You will be set free. They love you so much, sister. Do you want to read about Jesus? Jesus care for you. Our God is great. His name is highly lifted up. His name is God. He is a great God. There is none to be compared with him. His name is great. You understand that, brother? God is wonderful. God is excellent. How excellent is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ? How wonderful is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, for unto us, for unto us, a child is born, a child is born unto us, and a son is given unto us. And the Bible says, he has got him, got him in. That is the purpose, that a child is born. God bless you, sir. Yes, I'm blessed. That is the reason why a child is given to us and a son is given to us. Now it says, his government will be upon his shoulder. And he is a giving, is a gift to us. 
And because he's a gift to us, he is called the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Our God is good. He says he will be called the Almighty God, the Mighty God. That's what Jesus Christ is, everybody. The Mighty God. Our God is great. And that's why today you must know that Jesus Christ is Lord. We come today to tell you once again that God loves you, that Jesus Christ cares for you, and that if you obey, you become a good citizen. You know, the children of the darkness is never a good citizen anywhere they are. They are always the bad citizens. But when you believe, when you obey Jesus Christ, when you obey the word of God, you become a good citizen of whichever country you are in. Today is that wonderful day. Today is that acceptable day. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the King of glory. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is a great God. He loves us with an everlasting love. The Word of God says, Every kneel must bow and every tongue must confess that he is a great God. Therefore, I was saying, in the beginning was the world. The world was with God and the world was God. He was from the beginning. Do you understand that? That he was from the beginning. That Jesus Christ was from the beginning. From everlasting to everlasting. He is God. And the word of God said to us in John chapter 16 verse 33. The word of God says, This thing I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you might have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Jesus said, be of good cheer. Cheer up, brother. Cheer up. Because Jesus has overcome the world. Be of good cheer. Cheer up. Everywhere you are. You're going to cheer up. Because Jesus Christ has win. He has win again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The King of Kings is the winner, man. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is risen. Hallelujah. He said, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Jesus Christ has overcome. He said, be of good cheer, be happy. God bless you, sister. Be happy, because I have overcome the power of darkness. I have overcome the world. Therefore, you've got to be happy. Because the job is done. It is done. The job is done. Jesus Christ has overcome. Jesus Christ is a winner. He has win. He always win. He always win the battle. Our God is a great God. He's a wonderful God. And he is Lord. The Lord of Lords. That is not like unto him. His name is lifted up. His name is Christ. His name is God. So the Bible says, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. God bless you, brother. Do you want to read about Jesus? Say, be of good cheer. Cheer up, because I have overcome the world. Cheer up, everybody. Jesus Christ is telling you today, say, cheer up. I have overcome the enemy. I have overcome the world. And he said again in the scripture, in Matthew chapter 11 from verse 28 to 29, it says, Come unto me, all ye that labored and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Then take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul, brother. That is rest with God. That is rest with God. When you find God, you have rest. You are happy. That is happiness. God bless his brother. That is happiness for those that found God. That is peace for those that found God. I can assure you today. God bless you, sir. Thank you.
I can show you today, if you found God today, that is peace. No matter whatever, you have peace now. I tell you now. You have peace whenever you find God because you know all is going to be well. All is well when you found the Savior. All is well when you found Jesus. Happy is the man who found Jesus. Happy on his days. I saw the fire burning when you found Jesus. Burning in your heart when you found Jesus. The fire burning in your heart. When you found Jesus. The fire of God is burning in your heart. You know that, yes? When you found Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. The fire of God burns in your heart. Happy is that man that found Jesus. Happy on this way. I can see the fire of God burning when you found Jesus Christ. When you make Jesus Christ your Lord, the fire, the fire of God will burn in your heart. The fire that destroyed the power of darkness. The fire that destroyed the power of the prince and the power. The fire that destroyed every wicked force. The fire of God burns in your heart. Happy in that man who look up to heaven and say, yes, Lord, you will be happy. The reason why many of men who are not happy is because they have not said yes to Jesus. If you say yes to Jesus, happiness, joy, peace, come to your family. Our God is great. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. So if you want to be happy, you're going to find Jesus. You're going to say yes to Jesus. That's it. If you must say yes to Jesus to be happy. If you don't say yes to Jesus, listen, let me tell you, you can have everything you have on earth, but see it, you're not happy. You're going to be happy when you found Jesus. When you say yes to Jesus. You want to be happy, my friend. Come to Jesus. And Jesus Christ will give you happiness and joy every single day. No matter the situation. No matter the circumstances, whenever you find Jesus, you find God. Whenever you find Jesus, you find happiness. Our God is a good God. Today is the day of salvation. Happy is the man who found Jesus. Happy on his way. I can see the fire burning because you found Jesus. Burning in your heart. I can see the fire burning. To the heart of that man, to the heart of that woman that found Jesus Christ. That is fire body. Because you find peace. You find the Prince of Peace. You find the Lord of Lords. You find the Alpha and the Omega. Happy you will be when you found Jesus. Our God is an awesome God. He lives and He reigns. Today is that wonderful day. Today is that day of salvation. Today is that acceptable day. Our God lives and reigns forever. Jesus said unto her, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection, I am the dead. Say, I am the resurrection and life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. If you believe in Jesus, the Bible says, though you die, but you're going to live forever because of eternal life. Jesus Christ is Lord. The Word of God says, if you believe in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, though your flesh die, but your spirit will live forever. Forever and ever. Your spirit will live forever. The Bible says, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Do you believe that whoever that believe in the Lord will never ever die. If you believe in Jesus, that is a transfer of our dress. When you believe in Jesus, you're not going to die again. You won't die. Amen. God bless you, sister. Because you have eternal life to live forever. So death becomes a transfer of our dress. You transfer from earth to heaven. So you have not died. You're still alive. 
just as Jesus Christ transferred from earth to heaven. So we will all, in the twinkle of an eye, transfer from earth to heaven. Our God is a good God. He lives and he reigns. He is a great God. So the Bible says, if you believe in me, you shall not die. And again, the word of God said to us in Romans chapter 10 from verse 13, the word of God says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Say, whosoever, whoever you are, when you call upon the name of God, the Bible says, you shall be saved. So that is salvation in the name of God. That is salvation in the name of Jesus. Young people, Jesus Christ love you. Our God is a good God. Amen, sister. God bless you. And whosoever that... God bless you, sister. Jesus love you. Amen. Whosoever that will call upon the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, he must be saved. If you call upon his name, if you believe in his name, you shall be saved. That is true. The Bible says, believe. Believe today. Believe and you will be saved. When you believe in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, you will be saved. Salvation is for you when you believe. Our God is great. So believing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ brings salvation to your home, brings salvation to your life, brings salvation to you. When you believe in his name, when you believe in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, salvation comes to your home. Zacchaeus is one of them that believes in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says salvation comes to his home. Jesus said to Zacchaeus today, salvation is come to your home because you believe. Therefore, when you believe in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, salvation come to your house. Our God is a great God. He's a God that help us. He's a great God. God is a God of all righteousness. And then he live and he reign from everlasting to everlasting. There is no one like unto God. So we are here today to let you know that Jesus Christ loves you. And Jesus Christ cares for you. He cares. He loves you. He's a good God. He's a faithful God. He's a just God. He's a God that never fell. He's a God that never changed. Jesus Christ cares. He loves us so much, brother. What is the answer? Tell me, what's the answer? Our God lives and reigns. He's a great God. He's a faithful God. The word of God says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. The young people, you call upon the name of Jesus, you shall be saved. And the country, you also rejoice. The country will be very, very happy when you call upon the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Because Jesus says, I am the resurrection and I am the life. I am that resurrection and I am the life. When you come to God, you will be resurrected. That is joy with God. That is peace with God. Therefore today, if you need a blessing, you must come to God. You must come to Christ Jesus, who died for us on the cross. Whatever you need, blessing, you need joy, you need love, you need kindness, you need peace in your life, come upon to call upon the name of Christ. Call upon the name of God. It's only in the name of Jesus Christ that you have peace. It's only in the name of Jesus Christ that you have joy. It's only in the name of Jesus Christ that you have love. It's only in the name of Jesus Christ that you have compassion. Jesus is a compassionate God. He's a faithful God. He's a very good God. He's a wonderful God. He's a God that never disappoints us. This name is highly lifted up above every other name. The Bible says by the name of Jesus, every new God.
In the glory of God the Father. Our God lives and reigns, and He is the reigning King. He is the King of Kings. He is the King of Glory. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. There is no one to be compared with Him. His name is God. His name is the reigning King. And His name is the faithful God. We bring to you today the gospel of salvation. And we say to you, let every evil one return from his sin. Let every sinner run away from his sin. And believe Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you so much. Our God is good. You're going to be better for your country if you give your life to Jesus Christ. Great return will be better. If you, you give your life to Jesus Christ, Great Britain will be very, very better. And this country will be very, very better. If you give your life, you surrender to Jesus Christ. Because he's your savior. He's the redeemer. He's the comforter. He's the prince of peace. Jesus is the Lord of Lords. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. He loves us so much. He cares for us. What a great God. What a faithful God that we serve. What a beautiful God that we serve. What a wonderful God that we serve. There is no one like him. He is great. And he is faithful. And he is just. Our God is great. Gracious. Wonderful. Say good news. Say good news. We bring a good news to you. The good news of healing. The good news of deliverance, the good news of salvation, in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus Christ is the life. Our God is good. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. There is no one like him. He is great. And he is greatly to be praised. He is greatly to be exalted. He is greatly to be magnified. The Bible says, let the name of our Lord and our Savior be magnified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, everybody. Christ is King. He is a good God. Hallelujah, everybody. There is no one like unto him. Hallelujah to the name of our Lord Jesus. He is coming soon. Jesus Christ is coming back again. Jesus is coming soon, He's coming back again. I want you to understand, I want you to know this, that Jesus Christ is coming back again, He's coming soon, soon and very soon. He will come back again. He will come back in His glory, come back to take His people home. He's the only God, He's the only Savior. He's the only one that is coming back to take us home. Our God is good. Every other name that have ever existed, every other prophet that have ever existed, they have all died and gone. But Jesus Christ is the only name, the only prophet, the only name that is coming back again. He's coming back again. Coming back to judge the world in righteousness. Coming back to judge the world in holiness. Coming back to judge the world. So that to get you to give account. Do not think that you will not give account. Because every one of us will definitely give account. You must give account of yourself to God. So do not let devil deceive you that you cannot give account. That you, you can live as you want to live. That's nothing to fear. That is something to fear. They say, what to fear is where will your soul go? Where will inherit eternal life? Tell me. That's something for you to fear. Something for you to think about. Because that is a place that is called eternal life. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ says, You believe, you will have eternal life. If you do not believe, you will perish. And God never wants any one of us to perish. God never wants any one of us to die. 
God never wants any one of us to go to hell. God wants us to, to live a good life and go to the kingdom of God. Jesus loves me. Our God is great. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. That is not like it. It's a good God. He never made the kingdom of God. Uh, he never made the empire for you. Never. Never made the empire for you. Never. God made hellfire for Satan, for demons, for the power of darkness. That's the people that go to hellfire. Not for you, brothers and sisters in Christ. What is for you is the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Christ. But do not make yourself a candidate of hell. That is not good for you. So today is the day of salvation. Go to repent from your sins and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Do not think you can live as you like. Because the day will come, the day of judgment. And that day, every one of us will be judged according to what you've done. You never live as you like, but live as God wants you to live. Because God has created you. You're going to give account of your life before the Every one of us. You must give account. You must give account of yourself before God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns. That is not like unto God. Great is the faithfulness of God. Great is the loving kindness of God. There is no one like Him. He is a good God. Faithful is He that calleth, and He will definitely do it. God is a faithful God. He called you. He is thinking and he will do exactly what he says to Jesus Christ lives and reigns. And he is great and he is greatly to be praised, greatly to be worshipped, greatly to be exalted, greatly to be magnified, greatly to be lifted up on high. Our God lives and reigns. Today is that day. Wonderful day. A day of salvation. A day of salvation, brother. God bless you. Thank you. It's a wonderful day. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father in heaven. Jesus is God, everyone, and Jesus Christ loves us. Amen. Amen and amen. Christ is King. Christ loves us. He died for us to set us free. Jesus Christ is Lord. Again and again. Will bring to you that this wonderful salvation. He is Christ, and He is Lord, and He is the King of Glory. God bless every one of you.